Today, we are going to discuss how to make present continuous questions. Remember, you will need your pen, a highlighter, and a note-taking sheet while watching today's video. Write down any questions that you may have for your teacher as we go. Remember, you can pause the video, rewind, and watch it as many times as you like. Let's review when we use the present continuous tense. We use it when we want to talk about what someone or something is doing right now, at the time of speaking. We can also use the present continuous tense to talk about longer actions that are happening nowadays. This means they are happening right now, or today, this week, this month, this year, these days, and so on. I would just like to discuss how to make present continuous questions in this video. Let's begin with information questions, which are questions that require information that is not just yes or no in the answer. These question types begin with who, what, when, where, why, what time, how, how much, how many. Let's begin by looking at a sentence in the present continuous tense. Alia is writing an essay for English class. Now let's turn this into an information question. We start by choosing the question word that makes sense for the situation, such as what or who. Let's choose who. So we start the question with who. Since we are talking about one person, we would next use the correct form of the verb to be for a singular noun. So our question looks like this. Who is? Next, we will use a continuous verb with ing. Now our sentence looks like this. Who is writing? And then we add the rest of the information. Who is writing an essay for English class? The answer is, Alia is writing an essay for English class. We could also ask, what is Alia writing? Or, what is Alia doing? In these questions, the subject Alia goes between the verb to be and the main verb. The answer would therefore be, she is writing an essay for English class, or Alia is writing an essay for English class. They both mean the same. What, when, why, how, how much, and where usually have the same pattern. WH question word plus to be plus the subject plus the main verb plus ing. How many has the subject after it, like this? How many boys are going on the trip? How many is usually followed by the subject and then the present continuous verb? In this case, are is the correct form of to be since the subject boys is plural. The present continuous tense can also be used with yes or no questions, which means the answer is usually either yes or no. To make these questions, we will start with the verb to be and not with the question word, such as what or how. So we start with the correct form of the verb to be, like am, is, or are. For example, is Alia writing an essay for English class? And the answer would be either, yes she is, or no she isn't. Remember that she refers to Alia, and is is the correct form of the verb to be with a singular female, such as Alia or she. Another example using plural nouns is, are Samira and Fatima waiting on the bus? The answer would be, Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Since Samira and Fatima are plural, the correct form of to be is are. Another example of this type of question is the following. Are you going to Germany this summer? Are is the correct form of the verb to be for you. Remember, the pronoun or the subject in these questions goes between the verb to be and the main verb. The answer could be either yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Let's practice some of these questions. You will need your note-taking sheet and a pen or pencil. 
Try to correct the following questions and answers. What is wrong with this conversation? Well, the question is asking about what someone is doing right now. So we should use the present continuous tense instead of the present simple. So the question should be, what are you doing? Keep in mind that is is not the correct form of to be for you. The correct form is are. Also, the answer is incorrect. The answer should be, I am writing a book. Is is not the correct form of to be for I. Am goes with I. Let's look at this question. How many days you are working this week? I are working four days this week. This is a little bit tricky, and you will need to think. The correct answer should be, how many days are you working this week? Days is not the subject of the sentence. You is the subject, so it goes between the verb to be and working. The answer should be, I am working four days this week. I is the subject, and am agrees with I. Let's try this question. Are Sarah playing tennis with her friends? No, he aren't. Can you identify the mistakes in this conversation? Let's start with the question. Sarah is singular, and the form of the verb to be for Sarah is is. So the question should be, is Sarah playing tennis with her friends? Now let's turn to the answer. He is not correct because Sarah is a she, and aren't is not correct because it does not agree with he. The verb should be, no, she isn't. That is all for today. Remember to rewatch this video as many times as you like. Thanks for watching and good luck.